Hi everyone and welcome to your daily tarot with me, Cindy. And today we're going to get some messages for you from Spirit, letting you know what kind of energies are around you, what you should be aware of. And if you have your own way of picking your number, do that now. And you can find your number in the description in the timestamp. And you can click on that right away and get right to your reading. Otherwise, if you would like a little bit of help opening your, up your intuition, you can stay with me and we'll do a little tiny little meditation so that spirit can connect with you and give you a number to pick today. Okay, so close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Relax. You're standing in a beautiful little vegetable garden. It's a garden that was once full of seeds that you so carefully planted. You put a loving intention with each seed as you planted it in the ground. And all these beautiful little vegetable plants have started to sprout. They've pushed up from the ground and performed their little miracle of life. As you're walking down the rows and admiring all your hard work and devotion that has paid forth to you now, you can see up ahead one of the little plants as it's speared through the soil, it pushed up a little piece of paper. Let's walk over and reach down and pick up that little piece of paper off of that little plant. And as you flip it, you're going to either see number one, two, three, or four. So you can flip that piece of paper now. And what number is there? That is the number that Spirit is urging you to pick today. Okay, so let's get started with pile number one. And we are using our Spellcasters tarot cards today. And your card today is the Knight of Pentacles. Your energy oracle card for today is the Angel of Balance. Interesting. Your goddess card for today is Shakti, Transformation. And your God and Titan card is Ra power mm -hmm. okay i'm kind of getting the feeling that the energies around you are starting to change the knight of pentacles this is a good card but it is a little bit of a slow moving energy and you can see this knight sits on this giant squirrel. And you know how squirrels move. They kind of go here, and then they go there, and then they go here, and then they go there, and they go here. Where the squirrel really wanted to get was there, but they do it like this, right? Like it takes some time and the energy is a little bit scattered. But this is usually an indication that there's a good person, a good situation, even a good message possibly that's coming towards you. And I'm feeling with this Shakti, this transformation card, I'm feeling like this is an indication that the energy, the momentum around you is transforming and it's transforming into energies and situations that are more beneficial to you at this time. Energies that give you greater power for yourself and what it is that you are trying to accomplish in your journey right now. If we look at the Angel of Balance, the Angel of Balance is all about, I mean, she's a little bit like the Justice card in the tarot. There's um, right and wrong and good and bad. There's yin and yang. So the energies that are coming in right now, I feel like you've been a little bit scattered. Um, you've been waiting on something. And I feel a bit like this Knight of Pentacles is what you've been waiting on, this message, this opportunity. 
and it is slow moving, but these energies around it are indicating that this change is coming. And when this change comes, and it, it won't just come suddenly because this is slow moving, I feel like it will come sort of um, in little spits and spurts. And as that happens, your power, your own power for your life and how you would like to project it is being handed to you and almost like these little pieces. And then once this process is done, you will look at the pieces and go, wow, like I got everything that I was working for. It just took a little bit of time. So I sort of feel that that's what's happening for you right now for number one. All right, guys, thank you very much for allowing me to do that reading for you. So that was number one. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of that. Okay, and now we're going to do number two. So your Spellcaster Tarot card is the Nine of Wands. Your Energy Oracle card is all tied up. Now that's interesting with the Nine of Wands. Your Goddess Energy card is Focus. And your God and Titan card is Chaos. Okay. It feels like to me, you have been through something. What the cards are telling me is that you've been through something. It was a bit of um, a battle. It's left you feeling sort of trapped, tied up. You've sort of won this battle yet. It's left you feeling like you really don't have a lot of choices. It's difficult for you to move forward. This, and this could be a very emotional sense of defeat or emotional sense of being trapped. Sort of like in your own mind, you're feeling like this situation has left you with very few options. And it, with sets, I feel like this was chaos, but through chaos comes clarity. Chaos sort of causes all of the conflicts that exist around us. The very high energies that can't be controlled to sort of clear out sort of like throwing a bunch of marbles into a bowl and at first they're all kind of spitting and it's crazy and it's crazy energy and then it all kind of starts to settle and then they all take their place where they should be and i kind of feel like that's what's going on with you right now and with the focus card artemis and focus She's, this energy is coming in to let you know that what it is that you really desire, what it is that you're trying to achieve, the universe is putting into place what needs to occur for you to hit it, for you to get your focus on that target. So you're going to be coming out of this energy, this chaotic sort of a conflicted, very conflicting energy. It's a battle. It's really, really feels like it's been one heck of a battle for you, whatever it is that it is you've been going through. A war of worlds, a, a war of words. Um, even just like I'm sort of feeling like perhaps family issues people trying to control your life or how you how they perceive that you may need to live it but only you can really perceive that and only you can really focus on it and this energy is coming towards you keep your focus on what that is that you really want for yourself because the clouds are sort of parting and it's going to be right there it's going to be right there you knew it would be there you had your focus on it and now you can pull back your bow 
and let the arrow fly and it will fly straight and true into what it is that you want. So the energy is shifting. So this is, the energy was shifting for the other group too. So that's great. Energies are starting to shift for a lot of people right now. Thank you for letting me do number two for you guys. And now we're gonna do number three. So for number three, for your Spellcaster's Tarot, you have the Page of Wands. It's a great card. Your Energy Oracle card is Action. Your Goddess Energy card is Epona, Wise Leadership. She's been coming around a lot lately. And your God and Titan card is Vulcan, Inventiveness. Hmm. So your page is, well, there's something good coming in for you guys. Some really good information, very beneficial information. It's a message of some sort, and the message could come in the form of words spoken by someone. It could come in the form of this younger person who sort of steps into your life to bring whatever it is, the information like information opportunity that you're looking for and this action card I feel like it's coming fairly quickly I feel like it's gonna come in fairly fast with your action card and this is an indication by the universe when this comes in this is what you're waiting for this is what you've been looking for it is time to take the action once this occurs once you get this and not only is it time to take action but it's going to put you in this leadership role and I'm feeling like it's a leadership role within your own life. How to really lead yourself. How to be a gentle leader for yourself. And the way you've done things in the past isn't how you're going to continue doing things. Obviously not in every aspect, but in the aspect that this Page of Wands is coming in with this action card, with the Vulcan for inventiveness, this is about sort of thinking outside of the box, but very clear. Don't allow a lot of emotions to help you make these decisions right now. Have a very clear sense of thought. Allow your intuition to come in and really think outside of the box. Look at your life from outside of the box. This information that comes in, how may that affect your life in a positive way, in a way that maybe you didn't see that could change in your life or could add to your life. Okay guys, that was number three, that was great. Thank you so much. Leave a comment, let me, know, let me know how you thought, what you thought. My, my lips are not working today. <laughs> We're gonna go to number four. So for your Spellcaster's Tarot card, we have the Ace of Swords. Your Energy Oracle card is the fourth chakra with Archangel Raphael. Your goddess energy card is Ix Secrets. Mm. And your god and titan card is Poseidon, Flow. He's been coming around a lot lately to help us, hasn't he? Okay. Well, with the Ace of Swords, I really feel like Things are kind of being cut out, cleared out. Clarity is coming through in a situation. A situation that has caused, I think, some heartbreak, some frustration, some anger. I'm feeling that with the fourth chakra, 
these are two very opposite cards, aren't they? We feel the two energies in these cards. That Ace of Swords and that Fourth Chakra. Look at how hot and fiery this is. And it's almost as if this Archangel is trying to cool that down a bit for you. Trying to cool it down. Because this clarity that you're receiving, this cutting through of the, the crap, whatever this is that's been really bothering you, it's opening up new possibilities for you. And those new possibilities are hard to achieve if your heart is not open to these situations. So whatever it was that has happened or is happening, it's time to try to be more gentle with yourself and open your heart because there's, there's, there's stuff that's coming towards you, really good stuff. And this is telling us that. It's telling us that you cut through that. You sort of succeeded. You're at the next level. And with the secrets card, the universe is full of secrets. And we're, we're allowed to learn about these secrets, unravel the mysteries of them, but in due time. It's never in the time that we would maybe specifically like. But these secrets come to us in little bits and pieces. And that's what's happening. That's what this clarity is helping to do. It's helping to unravel some of these secrets. I think things that you have sort of known. I feel like somebody has been keeping something from you. And you sort of know that. You don't know all of the information or you don't have confirmation and I feel like that is happening, but to keep your heart chakra open during this time. And this flow card is telling you that you are on the right, you're on the right river, you're in the right boat right now. Good things are flowing towards you. The universal energy is bringing you what it is that you want, what it is that you need to continue on your journey of growth, development, good fortune. So once this air is cleared, once this situation has resolved, just keep that heart chakra open and your path will almost be like, it would be just this wonderful river that just keeps taking you down to these fabulous things, fabulous things that you've always hoped for and wanted. All right, guys, that was number four. That was a really nice way to end the read. Thank you very much. Please like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. And that's it. That's it for today. Have a wonderful day. Be gentle with yourselves and those around you. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.